The reason why we are here is for us to make sure that anytime we hear any exciting news, we are able to check certain facts to make sure the news is actually real. And the news is actually coming from the right source. So we are able to have the facts of the news before we can also share. As citizens journalists, we have the responsibility to uphold the higher standards of journalistic integrity. This means verifying information, considering the consequences of our reporting, and also prioritizing the truth over sensationalism. I hope this training will equip all of you uh, with the knowledge and skills to become responsible citizen journalists who contribute to a more informed and just society. The Electoral Commission, the Civil Society Organization, NC, uh, NCCE, and all other meaningful Ghanaians has a duty towards free, fair election, which all of you want. The National Commission for Civic Education is saying that as young people, as journalists, you need to cross-check your facts before you put it out there. I am Abou Sadiq, and we are here today for the day two of the capacity building on fake news by Youth Bridge Foundation. And today we've been taken through a series of processes on how to identify fake news and then on what to do in case you come across such news. How to detect fake news, how to verify from sources, and then how to produce counter, check, uh, counter news. And so far, I've learned a lot from it. And um, as I'm going out, I'll be sharing it with my colleagues. The Electoral Commission, the Civil Society Organization, NC, uh, NCCE, and all other meaningful Ghanaians has a duty towards free, fair election, which all of you want. So I would like to call on my colleague youth to not serve as pawns during this upcoming election, to be used by um, political um, leaders in order for their own personal gains. So the NCC is calling on the youth to rise up and take their own destiny into their hands. And they should not allow any selfish politician to influence them to do things that will create tension in our society. Go vote. It is an important thing to vote uh, for whoever you vote, but it is an expression of uh, your will and uh, of uh, the vision you have for this country. So definitely participate in the elections. The you should be part of reshaping Ghana and retelling the story of our nation that enough is enough. The politicians, they can no more use us and then dump us. We, the youth of Ghana, want a peaceful Ghana where fake news will be a menace of a past. Thank you. Well, my message to the Youth Bridge Foundation is uh, continue the great work you are doing. We are very happy that we can partner uh, with you up. Uh, the collaboration is excellent and, is, and has always been. So keep up the good work. Uh, I believe uh, and I'm sure that you already have uh, uh, plans for the future, which are more and more ambitious every year, which is exactly as it should be. And uh, we are thrilled to support you in future endeavors as well.